Joining me all week is my sister in beauty, hashtag sisters in beauty and co-founder of Milk Makeup, Zanna Roberts Rossi! Hello. How are you? Oh. So good to be back. Oh my gosh, I'm so best happy. Week ever. We're together. I know, best <laughs> week ever. B W E. Okay. In the news, your neighborhood Target store might have a Starbucks in it, but it's all about to get a little more company. Target just announced that next year it's installing Ulta shops inside 100 of their stores, of which there are 1,800, with hope to expand. Also, is also training Target employees in beauty consulting to staff these shops in a shop. This is not good news in the fact that I did not need any more excuses to spend any more time in Target. <laughs> I'm not just one cart, there's gonna be two carts, maybe three carts following me around. It's like, what are you doing today? Going to one place. One place for the entire day. I love <laughs> when corporations make decisions like this because it just shows that anything is possible and it could be, you know, something fun like a Dorito and yeah. a Taco Bell or an Ulta and a Target, but it, it makes a huge commerce different. It's interesting business. Mm -hmm. It's like when, you know, Amazon says they're gonna get into pharmaceuticals. Yeah. These decisions affect our lives and our world and I'm fascinated by mm -hmm. business and I think this is a really interesting it's one. It's changing the face of retail for sure. Absolutely. And the face of my shopping exhibition where I will be buying toothpaste, beauty, leggings, <laughs> diapers, everything. Jacket. In one jacket, the whole lot in one foul swoop. Can't wait. I love it. Okay, next up, your all right, story. All right, a law says you can now get baby Yoda, baby Yoda eyeshadow. What? And they're absolutely right. ColourPop's latest eyeshadow palette gives us brown, green, gold, and all the shades inspired by the cutest in the galaxy. I am obsessed. My entire family is obsessed. It's quite the crowd pleaser in the Rossi household. Big Mandalorian fan. Huge Mandalorian fan. Everybody freaks for Mandalorian. I, 2 a.m. every night last week watching Mandalorian. God, I'm late to this party. I really am. But <gasps> I have to say, uh, we're going to talk about this all week. Collabs really are the hottest thing Collab. in beauty. And especially a Star Wars one with ColourPop. And these green eyeshadows, by the way, for you and me, anyone with brown eyes should invest in a green eyeshadow. Absolutely. Green eyes. Color pop right. makes it pop. It's on colorpop.com. All right. <laughs> Next on the news, put on some chumbawamba and break out the jean skirts because we've got a 90s flashback oh. find. Oh my God. For some reason, that made me have to get up and dance. <laughs> I want to wear, see your jean skirts. I know. I was. <laughs> who What Wear says that after the fading in the 90s, the brown lipstick is now back here in 2020. This was everywhere. I used to rock it too. And now it's been spotted on red carpets and the lips of so many stars. Because if you're thinking of adopting this look, the undertone is key in picking the shade of brown that works best mm -hmm. for you. At Flower Beauty, we actually test all the different colors on all different skin tones, eye color, hair color, and multi-generation. Because then if we send you out, we don't have, you know, we're not L'Oreal, we don't have 47,000 mm -hmm. lipsticks. I wish mm -hmm. we were. Um, but so we try to make each one count. Yeah, and each one is gonna suit absolutely everybody. Yes. I love brown. I love the fact that it's kind of unexpected. It's a little bit grungy, yet it's still a little bit glam. You said before that the red lipstick is kind of the stiletto. Yes. Beauty. I think the brown lipstick is like the combat boot. I do you feel I, I have tingled. <laughs> you said combat boot, and I literally my skin tingled because I used to wear nothing but combat boots. So I'm gonna break out some brown lipstick and some combat boots in honor of you. Night and, and some jean skirts and some skirts. Maybe a gaucho pair. Um, <laughs> Maybe not. Courtney, what do you think? Um, okay, next up, NPR is reporting that UPS is lifting its ban on beards, as well as natural black hairstyles such as braids and locks. And these changes were made by Carol Tomei, the very first female CEO in UPS history. My skin really is well, tingling now. Bravo, For Carol. all the right reasons. She wants employees to feel comfortable, genuine, and authentic. Oh my goodness, I, I love this story. I love this woman, bravo. Welcome to the 21st century UPS. Everybody should be allowed to go to work feeling authentically themselves, not fear that you might be fired or even called unprofessional yes. for rocking your natural look. And these are old corporate standards mm -hmm. of presentation yeah. that we live in a different society now. And Completely. I just love the respect of this story 
and the Understood. honor, and I'm just so excited. Well, Zana, this is such, oh wait, hold on, really quickly, the Stargazer. Oh my gosh, these, these, these. You Tell have me to... everything. Okay, these really are trending quickly. big hard. Not only is it now about having pimple patches, but pimple patches want to be seen. So these are beautiful little stars, they're by Starface, and you can pop them on your pimples and rock it out. Okay, these are this all the range. Is... Even Michelle Lee, the editor-in-chief of Allure Beauty, Look. told me this is what she uses. And can you even yeah. handle this packaging? <laughs> if we had Pharrell Envy packaging yesterday, I have Starface. Oh, it's Starface, not Stargazer. Starface, these are Hydro Star patches, and they really do bring the pimple out. And in the best way. You know what? The next time I get a zit, guess what? I'm going to star face you. So everybody get your star face and start enjoying your acne. Thank you, Santa <laughs> Roberts Rossi. I love, love you. you.